G'day YouTube. What I'm trying to do now is I'm going to try and glue this lid onto here just with a hot melt glue gun. So what I'm going to do is just give it a, a light scrape with the file just to take that shiny stuff off. One is uh, polypropylene and one is polyethylene. The blue one is polyethylene and the, the white one is polypropylene. Alright, so we get a hot melt oh, glue gun. Oh, we just run it around here. And we stick her on. What you didn't see just then is I... <laughs> Put some glue on my hand. It was hot. Oh. That takes some hairs off, I tell you. Right, we'll let that sit and we'll come back to it. It's not going to be a permanent fix. It's just going to be like a temporary fix. Just like, like how we glue um, things on. It's a, probably a bit like it. Uh, you, you would think it's a bit like um, a CA glue. I know it's not CA, but what I mean is that when you're building a model with CA, Basically, the CA gives it a really, a really hard bond. Okay, but with the CA, when you uh, when you drop it, it can shatter and break into two pieces. But with this one, what we can do is we can glue it. If we drop it, it won't break apart. But this will give us a, it's like a, how do you say, a, a temporary, a temporary fix. Well, not a, I suppose not a temporary fix, but more of a, um, uh, just so you can basically build the model and make the model presentable. Not something that you're going to, um, what, trust your life with? If you're going to trust your life with, with it, then you'd be properly welding it with um, proper plastic weld or something like that. But if it's just only going to be a stationary model sitting on the shelf, then if this hot melt glue gun works, this will be all that we need to um, to do. So I'll be able to move on to my next step then. Okay, I did one just before. This one is with um, LDPE lid and a polypropylene lid. We'll try and rip it apart. See, it is it is sticking. It is hard to rip apart, but we did get it apart. Okay, that was a nice strong bond then. Okay, I, what I also did with this one too is I did 
I did give it a light sand, well, with the file. So that did that did stick. Like I said, it's not going to be a permanent bond, but that's that's that was quite good. And now we'll try and pull this one apart. All right, that come apart. Okay, the glue was holding it. I had to really, really put some force on it to try and break it apart. Okay, so that will be, um, that will be one of our keys as we're moving forward. I think this hot melt glue gun will uh, work. It won't give us a really hot melt like uh, like MEK with um, uh, polystyrene. Don't we don't necessarily need to um, completely melt the plastic together, but we just need something to to bond the plastic together so it it can sit on the shelf. So I think that that should do it. Unless any of you know a um, more of a chemical uh, way to um, uh, weld them together, but I think that will be the um, the best alternative I've got at the moment. That's relatively cheap. You can buy a um, a plastic fix. See if I got one. You can buy this stuff here, all plastic uh, fix. You get a glue and a primer. Okay, this will uh, down here. This um, sticks all plastic, including polyethylene and polypropylene. Okay, so you put the one, then you put the two on it, which that's the adhesive. Okay, this is like sixteen dollars. And I don't really want to be spending um, a lot on glue. Like, don't want to be buying a lot of this stuff. I think that's highway robbery. I have tried in, a, tried in one of my last, no, one of the episodes before that I had glued... Um, I think HDPE and uh, polystyrene together. So that that sort of that worked. It still is together. But I wonder what the I wonder when we um, we hot melt glue this together, put it on the lathe. Wonder if it'll like take the pressure of the lathe tool. Or it will just pop off, I don't know. But most times we're not going to just necessarily just glue just a little bit like that. We'll probably be gluing it maybe a section like this or something. Or maybe we are going to glue just a small bit on.